is one. And he will earn wages, earn wages to put into a bag with holes. That's what the Lord wants. Consider your ways. Consider your ways. Consider your ways. This is very important. You have to consider your ways. And you cannot also be a blessing to your church if you are not a blessing to your family. Do you know that? You cannot be a blessing to your pastor if you're not a blessing to your wife, you're not a blessing to your, to your husband. Amen. You cannot. Everything starts from Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything starts from Jerusalem. And everything will explode. Look around, there's some empty chains there. And I want you right now where you are right now, by faith right now, to speak unto God. How many people do you want to minister to or you want to bring the word God to? For the next three months, you're all going to have an assignment. In the next three months, we're all going to have an assignment. And I want you to give God a number. A number of people that you want him to help you minister to. Hallelujah. Next three months. And God must surprise you too. We all gonna make a commitment unto the Lord right now. We all gonna speak unto God right now. That we will testify. We will witness because say you are my witness unto the world. Have you been witnessing among the Lord to people? We're gonna make a commitment. Is anybody here who's afraid of preaching? Is there anybody here who's afraid of testifying about the Lord? Is anybody here who's afraid of sharing, sharing with others the word of God? Is anybody here? If you're not afraid, I want you within yourself to give a number. But that number cannot be less than three. In three months, we will do our best to minister the word of God to somebody. That number cannot be uh, uh, less than three. And after three months, I'll tell the pastor, after three months, everybody will bring a report. They will bring a report. You don't have to be afraid if the person came to church or not, whatever. Just what you did. Hallelujah. Just what you did. After three months, the pastor will lay his hands. He will lay his hands for a special blessing to every one of those who have tried. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you right now, for those who are going to obey, I don't know what kind of problem you have. I don't know what kind of situation you have. I'm a man of God. I'm a man of God. The Lord will do something that you have never thought about. Something big in your life. Hallelujah. Something big in your life. In the next three months, said to yourself, Lord, I want to minister to 10 people. I want to minister to 20 people. I want to minister to 5 people. Let it become like a work. You woke up in the morning, you say, I have a job to do. I have a job to do. I have a job to do. I have to empty here and, 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 and bring more people in heaven. Hallelujah. We have to do something. Who are those? Who are those who want to do it? Put your hands up. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Don't say to yourself, don't say to yourself, I cannot preach, I cannot do whatever. Just tell somebody about Jesus. That tell somebody about Jesus. And three months after, you're going to bring a report. Every time when you go out, you take a piece of paper, you write that person's name. Write that person's name. I've gone to this person three times, or I've shared with him, or I talk, whatever, just write down. They don't have to come to church. They will come if, 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 if God is the one to bring you to the church. Amen? Just do your part. And I want everybody right now, just close your eyes right now. And I just you right now, just to think right now. Let the Holy Spirit lead you right now. How many people do you want to witness to? Because I hear the Lord say, for those who will try, I will manifest myself and you will know that I am your God. I will manifest myself and you will know that I am your God. Say to P Jesus said to Peter, Peter, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? Feed my sheep. 
Now, do you love the Lord? Do you love the Lord? Can you witness about him? Can you testify? Can you share his word with somebody? Can you do something? I know you can do it. You got friends. Remember? You talk on the telephone for two hours, one hour. You know a lot of scripture already. He's going to be a seed in your life. And God will open the window of heaven to bless you in the way that you couldn't imagine of. There are some of the situations in life that you have been looking for solution. You have been looking for God to intervene or whatever. Remember uh, 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 Anna. Remember Anna in the Bible. Remember Anna in the Bible. She has been praying for a long time and long time. But when she changed her prayer, say, Lord, if you give me, if you give me a child, I will dedicate her back to you. The Bible declared everything changed. And God blessed her with the child. Hallelujah. What would you want to do for God now? What would you want to do for God now? I believe you want to minister to somebody. Maybe somebody in the family. Maybe somebody in the neighborhood. Somebody in the work environment. Or some, whatever it is. Just give God a number. Everybody give God a number. Give God a number. Say, Lord, in the next three months, I want to minister to five people. I want to minister to ten people. And don't be afraid. God will help you. 